Josh, and then I'll be off. Okay. Max. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't you be at the hospital? Uh, yeah, I'm just setting off. I've just got to finish this first. It's a funny time to start painting. <laughs> I know, but I promised Patricia I'd do it ages ago. Well, I'd be quite happy to take over if oh, you want. Oh, no, 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 it's all right. You've done enough decorating for one week. Um, I've plenty of time. Would you like us to come with you to the hospital later? No, there's no need. Look, um, I'll just get down there, pick them up and bring them back. We'll be fine. Looks like you get to take me out after all. Oh, got an outing planned. David very kindly promised if we weren't needed here to show me where he's been wasting his afternoons the past few weeks. Well, I didn't exactly promise. As good as. Uh, Max, are you absolutely sure you wouldn't Absolutely, it? absolutely. Oh. You get off and enjoy yourselves. Well, if you do need us... We're only next door. Thanks. Hi, Jack. Oh, I have... Do you want tea or do you want coffee? Eh, uh, better get off, eh? Well, don't be soft. Eh, uh, no, I don't want to interrupt nothing. Hey, hey, there's nothing to interrupt. Eh, uh, Jack, I only want me win the money. It's not what you think, you know. Hey, I'm not thinking nothing. Oh. Good. Anyway, that lad Carly had filling in for, he's already been for your money. When? Yesterday. And you paid him? Well, that's the general idea, isn't it? Oh, aye. What? Nothing. Don't suppose there's any point in knocking at the other doors around here, is there? I see it, Jack. Take it easy, Ron. Yeah, till I said. Simbad, here we see Jimmy. Hey, Jackie, I'm the three wise monkeys rolled into one me, OK? Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Yeah, Come on, things to do, people to see, and you've got that lot to plough through. All right, house hunting days. Eh? Yeah, I've booked a day off and everything. You did promise. Oh, I know it. Well, come on then, shake a leg. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll take these to bed and look at them there. Eh? No chance, mate. Get reading. Oh, what? Becky smells good. Yeah, I'll be ready in a bit. Oh, great. Oh, just like rush hour around here. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, do you want to hang on there in a minute while I see what it is? Right. Oh. Hi, Jack. Oh, Bev. <laughs> you all right? Not really, no. Uh, fancy chat? Only I I'm due in at the shop soon. Please. Well, you better come in. Oh. Hiya. Oh, all right. How's the window all going? Well, apart from being pulled by the busies twice, losing half of me customers, and earning about three pounds in the last fortnight, <laughs> I'm winning hands down. Oh, that good, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's short. Uh, yeah, well, I think you'll find Ron's otherwise engaged at the moment. I wanted to get some chewing gum. I've got my recent this afternoon. Oh, are you nervous? Yeah, very. Well, don't be. You'll stroll it. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. Well, I better get cracking. Yeah, right. Well, you've got windows to clean, haven't you? Mm -hmm. And don't let that idiot drag you down. Yeah, no chance. <clears throat> I thought you'd be grafting. Treated myself to a little iron. Oh, very slack, that, mate. You've missed out in the shops now. Uh, there you go, eh? All right, Dee. Couldn't put a bit of hot in that for me, could you? Yeah, sure. Mrs Dixon? Yeah? How do you feel about the standard of window cleaning you're currently receiving? Well, you sometimes miss his bits, I suppose. On the whole, all right. All right. And how would you feel about paying someone who never missed someone faster and cheaper? Well, I'm not bothered about faster, but cheaper. Oh, cheers, Dee. Well, if you are interested in saving money, I'm your man. When did you get that done? How much cheaper? 50p a week. 50p? Yeah, with a special introductory rate thrown in just for you. Half price for the first month. 75. Hmm? I'll do them 75 pence cheaper. OK, a pound. You are? Yeah, and you can still have them done half price for the first month. Now you're talking. Yeah, he's talking bankruptcy. Well, if you don't want the work? Yeah, the work's not worth having at that price. Sounds like a resignation speech to me. So is that me then, is it? Sorry, Sinbad, but money's money. Well, thanks for your support. You won't regret this. I bet I haven't. I suppose you've got the clothes stitched up as well, have you? Not yet, no. Have you got no chance on that one? They've got a bit of loyalty. They treat me with respect. 
Well, I reckon most people are a lot more loyal to the wallets than they are to the likes of you. And I reckon you're full of it. Better get round there, then, test your theory out. Yeah, I'll go and get me big ladder. See you in a minute. Sure you won't have some of this? Go on, then. You've twisted me all. Don't know what you're doing cooking all that for yourself, then. I know. Some mornings, you know, I just forget Jimmy's not here. The same with you I even miss the sound of him picking his toenails in bed. Don't want him back, though. Like. So, do you think you're about it? Well, it looks like, doesn't it? He? He's never going to accept Josh and Mike. And I mean, he's not going to really bring up his own grandson, is he? So, it looks like I'm knackered. Well, you never know. I think I do. Hey, you really are away with the pixies today, aren't you? Why, what? Two knives, two forks, two plates. You sure you haven't got a fancy man stashed away in the air and cupboard? <laughs> I wish. All right, fair enough. I'm not prepared to go as low as him. But don't years of quality workmanship count for anything? Well, yes, but... Uh, yes, but what? Are you pricing yourself out of the market? Exactly. Button at you. Or what? Well, I'll... Ah, uh, 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 just a minute. Can we try and sort this out like gentlemen, please? What, you mean, uh, shadows at dawn, maybe? I think you may have something there, Matt. Oh, yeah. Sinbad, you start at Mandy's house, and Carl, you start at the bungalow and then work inwards. And based on a combination of um, speed and shine, I'll judge who's the best workman, and they get to do our windows from then on. Uh, can I be a judge too? Well, oh, you sure you've got the time? What about Patricia? Oh, there's plenty of time yet. OK. Well, are we agreed, gentlemen? All right, yeah. Carl? Yeah. Good. So, on your marks. Let battle commence. Oh, hey, thanks for that, Jackie. I really needed someone to talk to. Any time, Beth. Hey, and half of the bracky. Take care, of. I will do. Jackie, all clear. You better get what's left of your breakfast. You'll be burnt up over That was a close thing, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. What did she want? A shoulder to cry on. Did she say anything? Plenty. About me? What do you think? Did she say she missed me? Not in so many ways. Why? Do me say? It's too late for all of that now, isn't it? Better get your fry up done, then, yeah. But, uh, Jack, where would it be without you, eh? Don't be soft. Hey, I'm serious, love. You're a star. Come here. Oh, mm. oh go away. <laughs> well, look who it isn't. Ernie, the fastest flame of milkman in the West. Where did you come from? Well, I spotted your stupid Benny Hill records in the hall, didn't I? Thought I'd have a nose around to see where your little mate was hiding you. I'm sorry, Beth. Well, don't be. You make a lovely couple. No, wait, there's nothing dodgy going on. I couldn't care less if there was. Well, there isn't, so don't go blabbing, OK? Oh, Scourge, you might ruin your reputation. No, I'm not. Well, what then, eh? Frightened her fella might jump the wall and come looking for you. Oh, don't be stupid. Me? You, you bloody great wimp. Look, this is death. You're the daft one, eh? Hiding in behind your apron strings. I suppose you went sniffing round to Dee Dee's first, didn't you? She gave you the knock back, and then you come crawling here. Look, Ben. Don't! I know whose side you're on. Right. Well, I'll leave the two of you to it. Enjoy your breakfast. Lover boy. There you go, lads. One, two, three. What do you think? Top marks for pace. No hard feelings, mate. What? Looks like I've done you. Says who? Ask your loyal customers. Come off it. Let's only give them a cat's lick and a promise. Well, they seem fine to me. Look at that glass. You can see your face in that. That's not much of an advert. So you're giving me the big E, eh, Max? What about you, Bing? I thought you knew an artist when you saw one. Well, your windows are gleaming, Sinbad, but uh, under the rules we set down in terms of overall performance, I'm afraid I'm going to have to plant for Carl. Nice one, Mr C. Sorry, old son. David, are you ready to go? Oh, coming, my dear. Right, I've got to get off. Oh, Max, uh, it's not about time you collected our two daughters. Uh, yeah, I'm on my way. Oh. Daddy! <sighs> Bleeding beds. Just not your day, is it?
Congratulations. Is it? Hey? Well, you split me and your dad up once and for all, haven't you? It's got nothing to do with me. Not much. You're off your head, you are. Too right I am. Off me head to go anywhere near the bloody Dixon family. And Dad's better off without you. Oh, taking his side now, are you? You'll be going round to Jackie Corkill's for your tea next. Jackie's? Oh, didn't he mention that? What? He's shacked up with her now, didn't he say? No. He's a star, you're our fellow, isn't he? Days of the Roman Empire. Ah, Major. Major, I was wondering where you'd got to. Had a few things to sort out back at the ranch. Oh, he leads such a busy life. Yes, I know. And you are? Mrs. Major. Sorry, Mrs. Crosby. <laughs> this is my wife, Jean. Your wife? How nice to meet you, Mrs. Um, Manners. Audrey Manners. I, I did, didn't realize you were married. You, you never... Um... Oh, I'm sure that I mentioned uh, Major's memory's not quite what it used to be. Yes, I see. Uh, never mind. A tea? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And welcome to our little gathering place. How's the baby? She's fine. And you? Okay. No more sitting in the ladies? No. Let's hit the road, eh? Right. Um, is there anyone we need to see before we go? Let's just get out of here. What about the specialist? Uh, is he sure it's not too early? It's time, Max. It's time to take our daughter home. Are you going to carry Alice to the car, or shall I? No. Uh, a nurse has to do it. Uh, I tell you what, I'll grab the bags and I'll go and get someone. Mr. Brennan will be giving us a slideshow based on his railway experiences entitled Great Train Journeys of Wales. Can't wait. And so on to Thursday. Oh, on Thursday we're she going to have this to be brainwashed, or is it something they put in the tea? Things because there's a, a short talk going to happen. Where are you Thursday. going? To have a look round before yes. this lot send me on to sleep. On Thursday, Major Crosby and I will be giving a Latin American dance demonstration. We will be performing the merengue, the cha-cha, and the pasa doble. An event I can assure you not to be missed. What do you think? It's a bit out of isn't it? No, I think it's great. Look at that lovely high ceiling. Yeah, and the lovely high central heating bill that goes with it. All that coving's original, you know. Is it? And a real fire. I wonder if we stop with lighting that every day. Oh, God, what a killjoy. I'm not. I just don't see the point in selling out for an hour place like this when we could get a new one for the same price. Philistine. What, cos I'd rather spend the money on a back garden for the kids than on... coving. So, anywhere with coving's a no-no, then? 
Oh, don't be soft. Listen, I grew up in an old terrace like this. And all the high ceilings and bay windows and bare floorboards mean to me a damp and drafts. Yeah, well, that's in the past. Yeah, where these places belong. Oh, that's a mess. This is a money pit. I really think we should go for something newer. Yeah, well, how newer? Well, this century would be a start, wouldn't it? Conversation with our Mr. Brennan. Oh, really? mm. He tells me that you told him that I passed away in 1963, the day Kennedy died, in fact. Oh. Oh. He's getting confused. Anyone can see the man's half senile. I wonder what else I'll find out about myself while I'm here. I hope not. I see your Mrs. Manners is keeping herself busy. She's not my Mrs. Manners. Well, whoever's she is, I think I've got something here that just might interest her. Oh, yeah. I was having a scout round, and I've come across just the thing I think this club needs to give it a shot in the arm. Ta -da! Oh, Lord. I might as well get some practice in while I'm here. Oh, the room looks great. Oh, well. Got your dad to thank for that. <laughs> hey, look where you are. Oh, it's good to be home. Oh, it's good to have you back. Oh, come here. No, no, I'll just get rid of this stuff first. Um, cup of tea? No, thanks. Something to eat? No, really, I'm fine. You, uh... You feeling OK? Yeah. Are you? Well, I'm not the one that's just given birth. That's a... That's avoiding the question. Oh, well, uh, I'm, I'm all right. I, um... Max, talk to me. Oh, I can't think what else to say. What you're feeling? Angry, guilty, ashamed. Of Alice? No, of myself. Because all I keep thinking is what it's going to do to the rest of our lives. I can understand that. And because I'm selfish. I wanted a child, a mother daughter, but I, I didn't want... Do you think anyone out there does? I mean, in the last few months, I've gone through everything that you're feeling, but now that she's here, all I can see is my beautiful little baby. And all I can feel is love. And where's my love? See, that's what's killing me. When I see her lying there, I, all I feel, I just feel empty. That'll change. Will it? Yeah. Trust me. <coughs> oh, are you waking up? Looks like one of us is hungry anyway. <laughs> Jean. Are you sure this is such a good idea? What's the alternative? Sit round here and wait for the Grim Reaper to turn up? No, but you know you what me? they say, dear. If you don't use it, you lose it. Far away, Mr. B. Oh, unlucky. Another go? Excuse me. What exactly is going on? Well, we were about to play darts. Darts? I found it stuck in a cupboard behind a stack of old Bibles. We can't have darts. This isn't some grubby working men's club. And I'm not some grubby working man. Jean, please. I think we'll confine darts to the pig and whistle, if you don't mind. We pride ourselves here on more civilised pursuits. But everyone was... Jean, hadn't we better be going? At... Look, uh, Patricia will be home by now. Everyone seems quite happy as they are. I think I'll just put this back where it belongs, shall I? There you go. Oh, cheers, love. Brecky at last day. <laughs> Hi, love. Hiya. You all right? I will be once I've had this, yeah? You OK? Yeah? Dad's treating you all right, is he? No worse than normal. Good. Enjoying that? Well, I'd rather be chucking into a fry-up, but... Uh... Could I have a bit? Yeah, sure. You pathetic, dirty old man. What? Oh, Jack. You 
all right. Get your new girlfriend to clean you up. Oh, my you God. You go... Jackie, I don't know what you've heard, love. You're a joke, you are. You, you split up with one slut and jump straight into bed with someone else. Jackie, I haven't. I lie. Your ex-girlfriend just told me the script. Well, she doesn't know what she's on about. Jackie has put me up till I find somewhere to stay, aren't you, Jax? That's all there is to it, love, honest. Look, I told you I wouldn't go near Bev again, didn't I? And I've stuck to me promise. But I also happen to be homeless, love. That's where Jackie comes in. Hmm. Hmm, so I don't think I deserve the pot noodle shampoo, do you? This won't stop you keeping our other little secret, will it? What? Uh, Josh and our Michael. Oh, I don't know, do I? Oh, love. What's up with... What's going on, Ron? Don't ask. Shh, Alice, Alice, she'll settle down in a minute. Well, what do you think's wrong with it? I don't know, nothing, nothing, probably. Well, it doesn't sound like nothing to me. Please, please, baby, baby. Oh, sounds like somebody's exercising their lungs. No, she's been like this for ages. She won't feed, Mum. I've tried everything, everything. But it can't. Down, it'll be all right. They said it wouldn't be easy at first. Yeah, I know. No, I think but... we'd better take her back to the hospital. Oh. Isn't that a touch premature? No, no not if there's a problem. She's, she's hungry, she's that's the problem. She's she's she can see. Just, oh, please, why would she feed? Look, come on, we'd better get her checked out. Oh, Matt, really, I don't think there's any need. I think that's for us to decide. Right. Patricia, please. Oh, it's just all right. All right, OK, we'll go. We'll go. We'll get my bag. Yeah. But she's told her. She will, love. She's coming here now. Oh, God almighty. I wish I'd never let you stay in her. I know, love, I know. I'm sorry. I'll sort myself out, honest. <laughs> I think that's what Dee Dee's got in mind. Hello. Hiya. Clean yourself off, then? Yeah. Here's, uh, is that Jackie all right? Mm. She said anything? Isn't that? Nothing in particular. What about the death of your little romance? Oh. So, you and Beverly have finally fallen apart, eh? Uh, looks that way, yeah. Mm -mm. Who knows? So now, poor Jackie's got to put up with the smell of your feet. It's only for a few days. Tell you what, Ron. Gotta take my hat off to you. You certainly do things in style. You've lost your wife, your kids, your house, and now you're floozy. What a man, eh? Thanks. What did he say? Oh, she's fine. We've just got to be patient. Patient? We can't keep running to the hospital every time Alice cries. We've got to treat her like a normal baby. But she isn't, is she? She is to me, Max. Let's go home, eh? Hi, come in. Thanks. Baby asleep? Uh, no. Patricia. She's just having a bit of a catnap, so... Um... Oh, right, right. So, uh, how is our little Alice today, then? Well, she... She was fine. Come on. Come on. Some white mummy, eh? Do you mind if I take it from you? <laughs> no, no, no. Of course not. Go ahead. There you go. That's right. Oh, 
Tell me your old granddad's that ugly, is he? <laughs> well, maybe he is then, yeah. <laughs> Just have to get used to it, won't you? <laughs> That's better. Good girl. Yeah. You always could uh, stop a baby crying from ten paces. <laughs> it's my conversation, Max, always sends him straight to sleep. <laughs> Talking of which, you look as if you could do with a bit of a snooze yourself. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, well, what with work and... Taking care of everyone here, you must be dead on your feet. No, no, I'm okay. Why don't you take a break? I'll take this little one out for a stroll. No, oh, honestly, yeah. Well, why don't the three of us take the air? It's about time little Alice saw a bit of the world. Do you think? Why not? I wouldn't want people prodding her and poking her, you know? No, 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 she'll be fine. Oh, all right, I'll, uh... I have to go and check with Patricia. Yeah, will you go and check away? Go on. Hey, what about this, Poppin? Granddad's going to introduce you to the neighbours. <laughs> I like it. All right, mate. How's it going? Sound, yeah? Listen, uh, I've left a packet of Everton mints with the other fellow up there. Cheers. Hey, them bruises have gone down a bit, haven't they? Yep. So we've had no more trouble, then. No. Been keeping the head down, you know. No more dealing. Points of people I can trust. Jimmy, for crying out loud. What? You're going to end up dead in yourself. No chance. Well, what do you reckon? I know. Yeah, how's that? Because I am getting out. You what? Of this dump next week. What do you think of that, eh, kid? Well, they're letting you out. Yeah. Got an early release date. A week today. Well then, mate. Cheers. Uh, have you told Jackie? No. Well, well, she'll be made up, won't she? Don't you be saying nothing, you. Why not? Because I have managed to scrape together a few bobs, so I'm going to turn up on the doorstep with a bloody big bunch of flowers. Can't wait to see her face. <laughs> I think you should let her know, you know. No. And don't you be spilling the beans either. Otherwise, I'll be shoving those Everton mints where the sun doesn't shine. Have you got it? All right, I can keep a secret. Yeah. Promise? Yes. Yeah, good lad. Boss that, Mum. Oh, you managed to taste it on the way down, then? Better shoot. Mum does never cease. Hey? You? In a hurry to get back to work. That's what being your own boss does for you. <sighs> we should have stuck you on a wind around years ago. We'd have been worth millions by now. Oh, are you? Like Simbad? I do feel a bit sorry for him, you know. That's life, I'm afraid. Hmm. Well, just you make sure the novelty doesn't wear off. Not a chance. I've heard that one before, love. I'm serious? I hope so. Believe it. This job's just the kick up the backside I needed. Gives us a few bob for myself and it means Becca's sorted and all. And that'll do me. See you later. Mm. Please. Why? What's to say, eh? Sorry for the stones. What for? Yesterday. Don't be. I love looking like a complete divvy. You didn't. Me and Ron did. Yeah, you and Ron. Oh, Bev. You're still tipsy. No. Not that stupid. You're not that desperate. Yeah, Bev, but Ron was. That's why I helped him out. He was keeping in that stupid bloody storeroom all week. Was he? Yeah. He looked a shame. He was putting the customers off. Why didn't you tell me that when I came round? Panicked. I feel dead let down, you know. I really am sorry. Me and I. So, what do you think tonight? Still mates? Good. Oh, you what, though? When I saw him kissing you, and we go for a minute. What? Me and Ron? No. Just best of friends, that's all. That's all I ever wanted to be. Best friends. Give it time, love. You never know. All right, yeah. You've just been to see my better half? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is he? Well, he's all right, you know. I'm going there myself on Friday. Oh, yeah? Oh, sound. I, um, I didn't say anything about the other, you know. What other? Um, the wrong situation. Oh, so. Is he still staying at yours? For the time being, yeah. Oh. Right. Oh, uh, better go and have a word with me. See you. Till I do. All right, sir. 
All right, mate, yes, yeah, sort of. Why, what's a care? Well, uh, just been to see Jimmy. You know he gets out next week. Straight up. Oh. I thought he'd got nine months. Yeah, well, so did he. It's almost for Mr. Just to see. Well, hang on, Mick. I mean, he's had a hard time in there, you know. You tell Ron Dixon that. Yeah, well, uh, Ron Dixon isn't exactly a saint either, you know. Hey. Hello. Hi, Rosie. Rosie? Am I right for a minute? Yeah, go on, then. So, what's this hot Ron Dixon? You OK? Yeah. Uh, I'm after a favour, actually. Huh? Are we fixed for having Becca for the night? Oh, we'd love to. Oh, great. Oh, do you feel like you need the night off? No. Well, yeah, maybe. Oh. You're going out? Hopefully. With anyone interested? No, just an old maid. Said she'd take us round town if I could get a sitter. Good. You're still allowed to enjoy yourself, you know. I can't remember the last time we just relaxed and had a laugh. Oh, we'll make sure you do. Right, I'll drop back in later then, yeah? Great. Okay. See ya. See ya. So it has been knocking. All right. Chucky Cork looks like Tim was inside. No, oh, yeah. He's got his feet well under the table. He's walking around in his undies, though. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of getting revenge. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I knew him in Bevis Place, haven't I? But, uh, Didn't waste much time, did he? <sighs> I don't know what he's got that we haven't. He'll have an ex con after his blood because there'll be murder when Jimmy gets out. Well, sir, you'll have to have a word with Ron, won't you? Well, I can't. I said I'd keep stum. Oh, what good's that to anybody? <sighs> well, I promised, didn't I? <laughs> it's a devil in a deep blue sea job, isn't it? Look, sod your promise. Neither have to tell Ron or tell Jackie. Because if you don't, there'll be a bloodbath. Aye, aye. Well, hang on a minute, sir. Congratulations, Max, mate. Thanks. So what is it? A boy or a girl? It's a little girl. Oh, let's have a butchers. So what have you called her? We've called her Alice. Uh, she's a little cutie, isn't she? She's beautiful. We must get on. Right. Yeah. See you, Alice. See you later. Sorry, mate. Try to warn you. Ah, no problem. Ah, poor little thing. Oh! Hi, lads. Come in to stock up on baby food. No, oh, I'm I'll just... be a relief to get her home. <laughs> yes. I bet she's gorgeous, is she? She certainly is. <laughs> How's Pat? She's fine, thanks. Aren't you going to bring her in to say hello? No, no. Yeah, I... come on, mate. Let's have a look. No, she's just having a sleep. Oh, well, no, don't disturb her then. Oh, right. So, what's your fella's little club like, then? I've seen more life in a pork chop. <laughs> People weren't too bad, I suppose, but, oh, they did need a bit of geeing up. I mean, it was so frustrating to see them all sitting round vegetating. It's as though once you reach a certain age, somebody rings a bell and everything has to stop and you just sit there waiting for the undertakers to arrive. Well, get in there. Give them a kick up the backside. Believe me, I tried. Yeah? Well, I came across this old dartboard, so I thought I'd organise a bit of a match with this woman who runs the place, this, this blue-rinsed barrage balloon. Mrs. Audrey bloody manners. Well, she confiscated it. You're joking. Oh, she said she thought Dart should be confined to the saloon bar. Oh, cheeky <laughs> man. So that was that. Well, you're not going to take it lying down, are you? Well, what else can I do? Well, teach Lady Muck a lesson for a start. Look, why don't you come round to ours after? We've got an old board you can borrow. You mean and, and take it down then? <laughs> she can't confiscate someone else's property. No. She can't. How about that? Oh, they're lovely, thanks. See you later, then. There you go, gentlemen. Hiya. Hello, Hello there. Is that your new baby? Yes, it is, oh, yeah. What's she? Alice. Oh, what a lovely name. So, uh, whose looks did she get, then? Hey, Maxie, don't say they're yours. <laughs> it's, it's hard to say. Bit of both, yeah? Yes, yes, Rosie. What do you reckon, Max? Is she more like you or you're better off? No, she doesn't look like either of us. She's a Down syndrome baby. That's what she looks like. Sorry about that. Oh, see you later. See you, Ben. Yeah, to that, Ben. Ooh. And you think we've got problems, eh? Mm, I know. Didn't realise. Poor sod. That's a shame, isn't it? So it's someone else worse off, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just go in the loo. So, Ron, how are things going? What, life? <laughs> I've had better weeks. No, I don't mean that. I mean... Don't start that again. I've told you. She's put me up for a few days, and that's all. Fair dues. But you want to watch it? Watch what? Well, people hear things, don't they? They'll get hold of the wrong end of the stick. Who's been mouthing off? No one. And I haven't told a soul. Sinbad, there's nothing to tell. Yeah, well, that's not what some people would think. 
Look, I know it's none of my business, but how long are you planning on staying at Jackie's? Uh, you're right. It is none of your business. OK, I'll shut up then. Why? What do you want to know for? Nothing. Oh, just after a bit of gossip, like? No. Because now you're going to get your eye wiped. You see, I moved out of Jackie's last night, mainly to stop the local fishwives mouthing off about me being on with her, when I'm not. And you're not planning on going back there, then? No. Well, that's all right, then. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, I'm back kipping in my storeroom. Life's a laugh a minute. Yeah, well, i better make tracks. I've got my own problems to sort out. See you later. Huh? Thanks for calling in. What was that all about? Oh, nothing. Nosy Ollies was on the sniff for info about me staying at yours. What did you say? Well, I lied, didn't I? I told him I'd moved out and come back here. And just in time to save your reputation and all by the sound of it. Well, I suppose I'd better go and apologise to Rosie Banks. She'll understand. It's more than I do. I know. See, if it was just me, Patricia and the baby, I, I'd be all right. But it's other people's faces when they realise and then they pretend that there's nothing wrong or they drown you with their sympathy. I don't need their pity. Nobody pities you, Max. Don't they? No. It feels like pity to me. Anyway, who gives a damn what people think? All that matters is you and Patricia and the baby. You've got a beautiful little daughter there, Max. Enjoy watching her grow up. But that's the trouble. I know it's a bloody awful thing to say, but the prospect of watching her grow up just fills me with dread. You're bound to feel that way right now. But it'll pass. What if it doesn't? It will. And then you'll grow to love her for what she is, and not for what you hoped she'd be. Well, I hope to God you're right. Trust me. And now I think it's about time we, um, wet the baby's head, don't you? Why don't we stroll down to the Legion later, and uh, I'll sign you in, and we'll sink a couple of shandies. Oh, I don't know. Come on, it'll do you the world of good. We might even get a game of pool. Come on. OK. Thanks. Good man. Teach old snobby draws a thing or two now, eh? Hopefully. <laughs> so what are you going to do then? Organise a competition? Well, I've had a bit of a brainwave on that front. Oh, hmm. I. Well, you see, our Mrs Manners is very keen on people coming in and giving impromptu chats on various subjects. And I was wondering, since you and Eddie had been on that television show, if you would come in and give us something on the wonderful world of darts. Oh, I don't know about that. You wouldn't have to do much. Just talk about being on Bullseye in a quick demonstration game. Well, I don't think Eddie would be very fussy. Oh, will you ask him? I'm sure the OAPs down there would lap it up and you'd be superstars for the day. Superstars, eh? Definitely. Ah, the cup that cheers. Oh, yes. Right, there you go, now. Have one for yourself, yes? Oh, steady on, Max. We've got a long night, eh? Mm. Right. Let's sit down. Oh, fancy some company. Mm -hmm. You're a first world next door neighbour, don't you? Oh, I don't see why not. Drinking alone, Ron, or uh, waiting for someone special? Oh, all right, Bing. <laughs> Joking, aren't you? <laughs> Mind if we join you? No, no, help yourselves. Nice to feel wanted for the change. Oh, cheers, old son.
bleeding hell. You're putting some hours in, aren't you? Got to, haven't I? You haven't got to pay for the funeral you've arranged for me. You what? Don't come the innocent fat boy. Hey, less of the fat boy soft lad. You could have killed me out there today. What are you talking about? You pulling the ladders away while I'm stuck up some house. You what? Come off it. I know it was you, just like it was last week. Hey, I admit that was me. But I wouldn't pull a stunt like that. Well, who else could it have been? Well, how do I know? Maybe the wind took them. What wind? Then anyway, I saw your hand. You couldn't have seen me hand because I wasn't there. Yeah, well, you better not not be there again, or else... Or else what? I think you spent a bit too much time peeling spuds in the Paris action, man. Your brains are addled. Hey, what was that all about? <sighs> Nothing. Well, you better get a smile on your face. Your daughter's due here in a minute. Sorry to hear about the baby, mate. Oh, don't be. Think positive, that's what people tell me. Oh, I say, it must be hard on the pair of you. Yes. Well, anyway, I believe things aren't too hot on the bed front. You can say that again. What happened? What didn't happen? He seems so happy. <laughs> Nothing lasts forever, does it, Maxie, eh? True. I'm just living to the Jets. Right, here we are. Pint of lager, two pints of best. Well done, Bing. I see you and Max have been doing your best to cheer each other up. Oh, I. You told me about your little uh, domestic, um, you know? Yeah, well. At least I can say I know how you feel. <sighs> so, how are things between you and the missus? Better, much better. Oh, some good news at last. Yes, but uh, we're not out of the wood yet by any manner of means. Why, what's the problem? Oh, it's nothing really. It's, uh... It's just that I found out something about Jean's past, and I can't get it out of my head. What, well, some other bloke? <laughs> In a manner of speaking, yes. Someone she, uh, had an affair with? Not exactly, but, um... Near enough. How long ago was this? Years. I only found out the truth recently, and, uh... It's doing your head in. Not only in my head, I'm afraid. Hey? Well, now that things are back on an even keel and we're sharing the marital bed again, uh, we've tried resuming relations and... The big Anne stuck at six o'clock. <laughs> there is a door now. And it's all to do with this other character. It's ridiculous, isn't it? No, no, it happens to us all at some time or other, mate. My advice to you is throw a few more of them down your neck. Get yourself home and get rid of the memory of this other fella, once and for all. If only, right? So now, what are we going to do tonight, Danny? Watch the Jungle Book again? Yeah. Carl, back is here. Oh, do you look lovely? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get your hair done? Razor's edge in town. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. What's with the outfit? It all started up for nothing. Come on, should we get some juice? Please, don't ruin this for me, eh? Ruin what? Got a hot date? No, I'm going out with a friend. What sort of friend? A girlfriend. Where are you off? Don't know, town, I suppose. Thought you were skint? No, I'm rolling in it. Must be if you can afford nights out in town. It's one flaming night. I bet that Eddie wasn't cheap either. Well, I won't go then, eh? Becca! No, you do what you want. Just remember, it's my money that's paying for it. Your money pays for Becca's shoes and her food and her flaming Jungle Book videos. I'm paying for tonight, me, out of my wages. Would you begrudge me a few lousy drinks with a mate? No, as I say, you do what you want. I will. Just as soon as I've kissed my daughter goodnight. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm not drunk. Oh, no, 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 no. Far from it. <laughs> well, my Max was a bit the worse for wear by the time we left. How is he? Oh, it's hard to say. He just needs to get used to it all, that's all. No, I suppose so. Yeah. Oh, well. Night, then. <sighs> David? Yes? You could have a cuddle if you like. 
know that nothing's going to happen. Just give it a few minutes. It's pointless. I'm sorry. Don't apologise. It'll be the beer, dear. I'm afraid this is a bit more serious than Brewer's droop. Well, don't worry about it. Easier said than done. on the couch in there. I'll take her up in a minute. You know, Sarah is entitled to the odd night out. Must be dead lonely. Just her and the baby stuck in that flat. Me heart bleeds. So what do you expect her to do then? Just sit in seven nights a week, 12 months a year? I expect her to spend the money I work for on our daughter. And I'm sure she does. See the state of her? Her do, new gear, house on the ale. I wonder how many windows I clean to pay for that lot. She works herself, doesn't she? Yeah, and with that and a dosh I give her, she's bloody laughing. Oh, I don't think so. Anyway, she's not getting another bean out of me. No way. I'm deadly serious. Don't be stupid. I'm telling you. Oh, so you're going to deprive your own daughter because of one flaming night out? Sarah will cop for someone by now. Let him foot the bill for a few weeks. This is about Becca. It's not Sarah. You don't have to tell me that. Then make sure you think about her before you do anything daft. I am thinking about her. And that's why, until I can see where every penny goes, Sarah can whistle for that money. Next tonight on Four Short Stories, a single mum bids to swim the channel while her daughter aims to make a splash as Whitby's regatta queen. So, is she feeling easier today then? Yeah, thank God the midwife was around at the time. She kind of talked me through it. Mm. You need all the help you can get, don't you? Yeah. Hey, especially with a little minx like this one around <laughs> the house. Hey. Oh. Who's this now? Probably the health visitors. I've forgotten they were coming. Oh, sorry, Puppet. Boston's going to have to wait. Oh, I know. Hello. Hi, how are you? We're all fine. Come on in. Thank you. Um, I'll get on with me work, shall I? Where's my bag here? Oh, I do have to go to this stupid club thing. I've only been on from work five minutes. Oh, come on, I promised Jean. Well, I wish you'd ask me first. Look, all we've got to do is go on about bullseye for ten minutes, throw a few darts. Uh, it's just not my scene getting up and making speeches. Oh, who are you trying to get? So I'm lumbered, am I? Oh, come on, be a laugh. Mm. I've got it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, talk. Hi, hey, yeah. You've been a good girl for your night. Yeah. Hey. What was last night like? Bye, thanks. Come on, let's 
get your coat on. Meet anyone interesting? No, just jangled all night, actually. She been all right? Oh, she's been good as gold. Oh, thanks for taking her to such short notice. Our pleasure. Uh, I'll have to go. I'm doing work soon. Right. See you, back. Yeah, I'll see you out. <laughs> Ciao. See you a grin, then? Yeah. Well, I hope it was worth it. Why? Because it's the last night out you're having at my expense. <sighs> oh, what? That's it. You laugh. But until I know where every penny of that cash that I'm giving you ends up, you're getting nothing. Just like that? Yeah. Fine. In that case, wave goodbye to your daughter, because if you don't cough up, you don't see her. You can't do that. Just watch me. Sarah! Sarah! Oh! Sorry, Josh. Favourite fella? Who, me? Josh. <laughs> He's fine. Oh, he loves the sun. Yeah? Good job, really. I'm thinking about taking him away next week. You never said. Mm, I only really decided today. Well, where are you going? Um, not sure. As far as my few savings will take me. So, you're not going to be around then? Mm, you'll survive. Will we? Of course. Uh, go on to lead rich and fulfilling lives. What? Oh, nothing. Hey, it's good news about Alice feeding properly today, isn't it? Well, what with the health visitor and the midwife at hand, I mean, something was bound to go right, wasn't it? Why are you trying to help? I'm trying to help Patricia. Treat me as if I'm invisible. I'm doing the best. Yeah, doing the best to turn the house into a hospital ward. It's a bit harsh. I know. I, I just can't stand all this all-hands-to-the-pump routine. I don't want to be seen as a charity case. It's only for a few weeks. And if one more smiling face tells me how beautiful the baby is... But she is. What wonderful lives we're all going to have. Hmm? I don't know. Do you really think this darts thing is such a good idea? It's not good, it's inspired. I think we should have okayed it with Audrey Manners first. Well, she got nothing else booked for today, had she? Not that I know of, no. So what's the problem? Oh, nothing. Let's go and have a good time and enjoy ourselves. Yes. Oh, dear. That was a big sigh. Sorry. Are you all right? It's just that I... I don't feel up to going anywhere this afternoon. Why? Oh, I don't know. I'm... I'm just a bit tired. I'm... Well, it's this damn sex thing. I told you, it doesn't matter. It does to me. Look, put it out of your mind. The more you think about it, the more nervous you're going to be. I can't stand not being a... a proper husband. You've been more of a proper husband in that department than most men your age. A lot of couples have forgotten what a love life is by this stage of the game. I'm not interested in other couples. Look, suppose we leave that side of it for the time being. Maybe just having a break from thinking about it will do the trick. Maybe. Alternatively, you could lie back and think of Audrey Manners. Won't be a minute, lads. You busy? Not bad. Well, I'm going to order to see if Becca wants to come up and play with Gemma. Wanna go and play with Gemma, babe? Yeah? Come on, your Uncle Mick will take you up. Come on, hey. gorgeous. Don't yeah. believe that, Gemma. Do you want? I need to talk to you. I think you've said enough, haven't you? You're not going to stop me seeing Becca, are you? Depends on whether you're going to pay your way or not. Look, I'm sorry I blew up at you. I was frustrated, that's all. So you're going to pay your way, then? I'll do my best, but it's murder trying to get the cash out of half of them on this round. That's not my problem, is it? Thanks for the sympathy. I'm serious. How and when you get the money is your business. All I'm worried about is Becca. No, all you're bothered about yourself. <laughs> that's a good one coming from you. What do you want, eh? Everything I've got. Every last lousy penny. OK. 
There you are. Is that enough? Do it. Paying the entrance fee to see my own daughter. It's all yours. Carl! Now, what's the score? <sighs> I don't know, mate, but I reckon she's winning. I think you'd better get off. I am doing. I've got windows to clean. Want me to report back after with the day's takings, dear? Just go. Oh, sorry about that, lads. All right. Oh, God, Mick, I'm really sorry. Listen, look, I don't know what that was all about. And to be honest, I don't care. But you can't keep doing it to me. If the banks want to come here for pizza, that's fine. That's what this place is, a pizza parlour. Not somewhere for you to wash your dirty laundry. So if you want to have a row, you do it on your own time. Because if there's one more kick-off like that in here... Hi, love. Hi, yeah. Great to see you. And you? I got you a couple of packets of Uncle Joe's men pools, the ring. Right, yeah, with the fellow I know. It's, uh... You seem in a good mood. Well spotted, kid. How come? Well, why shouldn't it be? Well, you're in jail for stills. So? Oh, you know. You know I have something to go Yeah. Oh, God. Am I on life? What? Do you want to know why? Because I am getting out of here. What's the view? They told me on Monday they're letting me out early. When? Soon. Is that all? Well, aren't you pleased? I am, yeah. Oh, can't wait to be back home with you, love. It's going to be great. What is she on about this? Oh, stop moaning. Going to be celebrities for the day. Yeah, and Bing's busy bloody mate. Oh, don't starve. All set? Rearing to go. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Oh, are ah, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. I believe the posh while he runs is a bit of a case, isn't she, Dave? How do you mean, exactly? Swans around like one of the landed gentry, so I've had. Oh, I didn't say that. Let's get going, eh? Well, I hope she likes that. She's lovely. And she's very special, you know? Very, very special. You see, she's not like most other children. God decided to make her different. And he does that sometimes. And we're very, very lucky when he does. Because you know what it means? It means that he thinks that you and me and Daddy, we can give a special baby like Alice all the extra love she needs. Hmm? I was just telling Thomas about it. I know, I heard. Fancy another kick around with the ball, son? <gasps> yeah. Go on, you go on out. I'll join you in a minute. Lovely story. Pity you missed out the ending. What do you mean? Oh, the bit where Mummy and Daddy die and go to heaven, and Big Brother is left with the responsibility of a disabled sister for the rest of his life. Max? How can you say that? Because it's true. OK, but... I mean, that's what life's about, responsibilities. I mean... What if, God forbid, Thomas ended up, up in a wheelchair or, or a, a drug addict or something? I mean, would you just abandon him? No. Then why should Thomas abandon Alice? I'm not saying he would. Then what are you saying? That your own son won't grow to love his sister because she's Down syndrome? I... I don't know what I'm saying. Fill me bucket.
Yeah, that video seen better days, Jean. Most of the people in here. <laughs> so, uh, what do you reckon then? A couple of minutes chat, then stick the tape on. Fine. Right. Don't you think we ought to wait until everyone's arrived? Oh, is the more to come? Possibly. Oh, of course. Audrey's not arrived yet. I wouldn't want her to miss this for the world. Yeah! That's 96 brilliance. Apologies, everybody. I baked us a little something for our tea break. Hello, Audrey. I'm sorry. Major? I hope you don't mind, Audrey, but David told me you had a blank day today, so I took the liberty of filling it in for you. These are our friends, Eddie and Rosie Banks. Hello. Hi. I thought it would be interesting for everyone to hear about their appearance on the television quiz show, Bullseye. Bullseye? Oh, hi, yeah. Can't beat a bit of bully. I've been looking for you. Snap. Hey, I want a word. It'll have to wait. Well, it can't, because this has gone on long enough as it is. What has? This battling. I've had me whack. Join the club. Look, I don't want to have to go crawling to you, but there's the only chance of jacking this game in, eh? By giving me my round back. You what? OK. I'll admit, you're younger, you're fitter, and you're faster than me. But it's my livelihood we're talking about here. I mean, you could do all sorts, but win the Clemens all I know. Oh, I get it. Put the boots in, then go for the sob story. Dream on, mate. Shall I take that as a no? After your little greenhouse stunt, what do you think? Greenhouse? Yeah, you know, the one you shoved me ladders into, the one I've got to fork out 200 notes for. Eh, uh, hang on, you've lost me. Don't come that again. I'm serious. Cast your mind back half an hour, Lancaster Avenue. You followed me there? Not me. And anyway, what are you doing in Lancaster Avenue? Expanding. Oh, yeah. Well, that's Dickie Williamson's round. And if him and his brother Katia are expanding. In fact, sounds as if they already have. Crap. I know this is down to you. No, you don't know nothing. You're pushing your luck, mate. I don't know, it's him. Yeah. I think you better go home and fill your insurance claim in for that greenhouse, haven't you? Oh, don't tell me you're not insured. Amateurs. There you go, love. You. Thanks a lot. Sit down now. Hello, Jack. Good visit? Um, yeah. How is he? Oh, fine. Good. They're, um, they're letting him out early. Ronnie's coming home. He what? Good behaviour. Good behaviour? After what he did? He's away for burglary, Ron, nothing else. Sorry. Oh, are yeah. you? For you, yeah. So when's he out then? A couple of weeks, he said. Great. So, uh, I don't know what you want to do, you know, about staying at the house. Don't worry. I'll get out of your air. There's no mad rush. Well, I'm hardly going to be guest of honour at the welcome home party, am I? I suppose not. I'll start looking for the flat in the morning. around the soft lad work, then? Too much. What are you gonna do? I'm working on it. Well, I'm sticking with you, mate, so don't worry. Cheers, mate. Actually, uh, to be honest with you, I don't like the fella. Oh, he's a snidey little get, isn't he? Yeah. It's right to go and get back at a drink? Yeah, sound. Yeah. On the house. Tell them. He came in before, sound enough I'd say, you know. Oh, yeah. I really feel sorry for the girl. Seems like she's got the whole family on her back, but... Yeah, well, you could do without the grief. Yeah, at this rate, it seems like her in-laws could get out of sack. Oh, they treated us great, didn't they, love? Yeah. You know, they're just like normal people. Let us have a go on the cameras and everything. Mm. Oh, and that gin. What was he like, love? An absolute star. Oh, yeah. He was a schoolmaster, you know. That's right. Lives in an old railway station now. Yeah. Oh, and he's adopted, you know. Should have heard some of the jokes he was coming out with. Perhaps you'd like to share a few of them with us. Well, uh, I don't know about that, Jean. Uh, bit saucy, like. Oh, go on. Well, uh, better keep your voice down. So, busy? Ish. Why don't you come join us? No, thank you. It's going very well. 
I'm sure it is. If you find darts a stimulating topic of conversation. Actually, it is turning out to be quite a raconteur, I'm quite. Sunday's my day of rest. <laughs> It'll be shove halfpenny next. Right. Let's get this vid on the go, eh, gang? I don't know what the vicar's going to say about all this noise. Hey, Odd. Got a front row seat safe here, eh, love? Uh, thank you. Uh, I haven't brought my television glasses. Ah, oh, well. Is that your final word? Oh, you're stinky, aren't you? Hey? Let's try and get you nice and clean, eh? You sleepy. <laughs> I'm just nipping over to the restaurant. Fine. I'm sorry about earlier. Don't be. I didn't express my feelings very well. I think you did, actually. I am trying, honestly. I know. And I'll keep on trying. You want to try something now? What? Change your daughter's nappy. I haven't... Oh, sorry. I've got a girl. Okay. Doesn't matter. Now, see this fella here? A right pompous Tory so and so, he was. Thought he was the bee's knees, him. Soon saw him off. Oh, here's the exciting bit now. Hi, for an intermission, I think. Would you pass the rock cakes round, please, Major? Ah, oh, there, you were just getting going there. Who's for tea? I'll take that. That's better. How dare you? The vicar has put me in sole charge of all technical equipment for insurance purposes. Me tape! Oh. Well, thank you very much. This was my only copy. Oh my God. Are you happy now? Me? I was until you came along with your infernal dartboard. I am afraid there is more to life than train spotting and rock cakes. And if people want to play darts, for goodness sake, let them. At least it reminds them they're still alive. Gene. What really great train journeys of Wales. The patrons of this club have been more than happy with its activities for as long as I can remember. Yes, and a starving man's happy with bread and water. What right? do you mean? I mean, it is about time that this place received a sharp kick up the behind before it slips into a terminal coma. Hiya, love. Hiya, mate. How are you diddling? Oh, yeah. Can I have hold? Oh. That's it. Uh, come to you. I'll come for the money, Omi. What money's that? You know, wages for filling in like. Oh, right, yeah. What was it then? 20, 30 quid? Mm, I think that's about right. You are? And can I have Josh back, please? Top. Yeah, you're welcome. Right, see you in a fortnight. Hey. Well, I've just been the travel agent. Book me and Josh a cheap fortnight in Greece. When? Well, I think I have tonight. Just like that? Not can keep me here, is there? Now I'm foot loose and fancy free. No. No, I suppose not. Come on, you. Send your postcard. Trot. Here, Lexi. Uh, hang on. Here you are. Have a kebab on me. I only want what I'm entitled to. Yeah, well, I think you're entitled to a decent holiday, so. Ta. Better get a move on. Got to pack you. Yeah. Wish I was coming with you. No, you don't. How have we ended up like this? I can think of one reason why. Yeah, but still doesn't stop me missing the two of you. No, you're just feeling sorry for yourself, that's all. No, it's more than that. Is it? Yeah. I know it's soft, but keep forgetting he's not mine. But he isn't, is he? No. There's no use pretending otherwise. No, I know, but... But I just wish... Forget it, Ron. You know Jackie was right. Better off without me. Yeah, well, I think that's for me to decide. And you have done, haven't you? Doesn't make it any easier, though. Nothing I can do about that. No. 
So are you still going to go ahead with the christening? Don't know. Got to find a new godfather first, haven't I? What I wouldn't give for. For what? I even think... I think I'd be happier if Josh was like the Farnham's baby, as long as he was ours. Oh. I, I didn't mean it like that. Do you realise what you've just said? Yeah, I know, but I didn't mean you it You really like... loved us, then how could you even begin to think that? Bev, I'm sorry. So this is what it all boils down to, is it? Something being yours. God, that is so selfish. And to think I really loved you. This just goes to prove it, doesn't it? We are finished once and for all. See you, Ron. On ITV next, the Ruth Rendell Mysteries. Here on 4 After the Break, the Garden Club team are in Bury St Edmunds, investigating the plants that won't wilt in a drought. Presume you weren't sleepwalking, wandering around the house after nice. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that. Couldn't settle. I know it sounds soft, but I love missing Bev. What? After what she did to you? I know, love, I know, but I do. I'm missing little Josh as well. Do you want some jam on that or something? No, thanks, love. I'm not hungry. <laughs> I know you're probably going to think I'm mad, but I really do miss him. Couldn't think of anything else all night. Just sat there thinking about my own kids. All the things over the years, you know. Birthdays, holidays and that. Now Bev's taking him, I'm gonna miss him growing up. You should have thought of that before you blew up as well, shouldn't you? I know, Jack, but it was such a kick in the guts finding out that she'd lied about the baby. It's not our mics, though, Jack. Not an Aries now. Ron, you've got medical proof. How can you say that about a kid that's not yours? I know that, Jack, I know, but I really feel like he's my kid. OK, so our Mike's the real father medically, but he hasn't spent time with Josh like I have. He hasn't changed his nappy, he hasn't bathed him. He hasn't stood there and watched him sleep. I really feel like I'm his real dad. She can't take him away forever, you know. You're going to see him again. Am I? For all I know, she's already shacked up with some Greek waiter. He'd probably grow up being called Stavros. Come on, Thomas. We don't want you late on your first day back. You sure you don't mind taking him in, Dad? Of course not. It's our pleasure. You've got enough on your hands. Oh, I don't know. I feel so disorganised, not even taking him to school. That nonsense. Just leave it to us. Off you pop, Thomas. Get your school bag. There's a good lad. I'm neglecting him. I mean, I've been meaning to buy him a new blazer all summer. Don't worry about that. We can take him to get one, can't we, David? Yes, of course. We can take him into town this weekend. What would I do without you? <laughs> so, have you got your pencils in there, lad? Yes. Yes, good lad. Right, come on then. Ready for our first day back? Goodness me, it'll be Christmas before you know it. Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, see my mobile phone? Kitchen table. Thanks. Uh, what time will you be back tonight? Uh, sorry, darling, I can't say. Why not? Well, I've got tons to do, you see. Barry's still away. Oh! Mustn't forget that. 
Must let the carpet fitters in later to Barry's new place. Uh, just a supervision job. Oh, what? You're supervising Barry Grant's carpet fitters now? Well, they asked me to do it. I mean, I promised. Oh, Max, this is ridiculous. You're running yourself ragged. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> I'll see you later. Max? Yeah. Thomas is going to school. Oh, right. All right, son, you have a good day. Daddy? Yeah. Thomas wants to know if you can meet him at home time. Well, I I'm sorry, Thomas. Perhaps another day, eh? I'll see you later. Did you see that? He's obviously very busy. He's making work to keep himself busy. He's just avoiding being at home. He's avoiding being with Alice. Yes. Oh, Mum, please don't even think about saying he needs time. He's had plenty of time. It's time to face the realities now. Right, well, we'd better be off. See you later. Thomas, I guess a kiss. Mm, have a lovely day at school. Mm -hmm. Give Alice a big kiss. That's a good boy. See? Thomas can do it. I can't, Max. It's not that easy with a kid, very well. She'll be back. Will she? Of course she will. Look, Holly, it's a source of... Oh, breathing space, you know. Time to source out your feelings. If you want her, you'll be back together in no time, all three of you. You'll see. Yeah, well, I'm glad you got over. <laughs> you need to buy the book if we'll marry to Jim. Have you heard any more from him? First, nothing. Then he asked me to visit. Then nothing again. All I know is he's due out soon. Yeah, well, look, I'll come round tonight and get my stuff together, get out of the way. I'm the last person he'd want to find here. Wait, he's having to push out when you're down like this. No, oh, love, you've been brilliant, honest. I don't know how you put up with me. You've been a real mate. <laughs> no, Ron. It's you that's been the real mate. After what Jimmy did and everything, you know, keeping me on at the shop, helping me get through the last few months. I still can't believe they're letting him out so soon, no, Jack. Ron, I just hope he's learned his lesson. Keep off the drugs. Right, well, I'll call around for me stuff about five then, eh? Hey, you will have the tea before you go. You sure? I wouldn't ask if I wasn't, would I? Tell you what, I'll get us a Chinese takeaway. How's that? Bit of a leaving party, you know? Sounds great. See you after. What do you want? There's no need to be so suspicious. I'm not, but if you've come for money, I haven't got any. I've come to apologise. I'm sorry about the other day. I shouldn't have said what I did about not letting you see Becca. I hope it didn't cause too much trouble with your boss. <laughs> Just a bit. I made a bit of a press of myself in the shop, didn't I? Mm, I've seen you do worse. I shouldn't have wound you up. Yeah, well, let's just forget it, eh? No, Carl. I don't want to forget it. Because I don't want us fighting over Becca again. I've been thinking, and there's so many couples like us end up fighting over the kids and money. I don't want that. It wasn't me that started it. See, we'll end up fighting again. I'm not going to get heavy about money. I don't want to squeeze you for every penny because I don't want anything for myself. Just what Becca's entitled to, that's all. I'm still skinned. I know that. I can wait until you're doing better. Just give me what you can each week and I'll be okay with that and what I get at the pizza place. All right. Thanks. Whatever happens between us, I just want her to come first, OK? OK. So do I. We both better get back to work then, haven't we? See ya. Yeah, ta -ra. Everything all right, son? Yeah, fine. Do you fancy helping me set these up? I'll leave it to you. You're the expert. Steady, Eddie. I've got real work to do. Hi, Ron. Ah, Bing, I've got something for you. Here you go. For me? Well, for your missus. One bingo kit on loan from the Legion. What on earth would Jean want with a bingo kit? For that club of yours. Here are your flowers, Ron. Ah, oh, cheers, Jean. I'll settle up later, OK? Oh, you got it great. Thank you. <laughs> Jean, you can't play bingo at the over 55s club. Why not? not? Oh, do you know Audrey? She won't like this. I don't care what Audrey does or doesn't like. Audrey Manners is a snob. But you don't know anything about bingo. You've never set foot in a bingo hall in all of your life. Fortunately, I have a very good teacher. Hey, five years' experience at the Legion. I think I'm ready for a test on what you taught me yesterday, Ron. <laughs> Eyes down? Right. You've been taking lessons? 
Well, I wouldn't want to make a mess of it, would I? Not in front of Mrs. Audrey Manners from the Formby end of Blundell Sands. Right, here we go. Uh, 22. Two fat... Two little ducks. Correct. <laughs> Key to door? Oh, I know that one. 21. I don't believe this. Oh, don't stand there gawping. Go and get what you came for and leave us in peace. Audrey Manners will never stand for this. You leave her to me. Just remember to call for me in 20 minutes. Right. Uh, all the threes. Dirty knees, 33. Jean, do you really think this is a good idea? I will liven up that club if it kills me. to get some bigger obstacles. <clears throat> Eddie, what are you doing? Good question. What is he doing? <sighs> well, apart from making a fool of himself, he's practising for the Og Fest on Friday. The what? It, we go every year. The Harley Davidson Owners Group Festival. The Og Fest, it's at Ainsdale on Friday, and uh, this is one of the competitions we have. Oh, I see. You getting on, love? Uh, I'll leave it to you. Uh, perhaps uh, David would like to go. for a motorcycle event. Oh, riding in and out of bin bags? No, no, that family's mad. Max, can you spare a moment? Oh, I'm just opening up for the carpet business. Please. Look, it's all right. I'll open up for you. You look after Patricia. All right, David, I'll uh, be there in a minute. OK. Oh, darling. No, what is it? Oh, she won't feed. She's hardly stopped crying. Well, has she had a sleep? No. Well, it's not that Eddie Banks is it? on that blasted motorbike that's disturbed. No, no, it won't make any difference. I mean, she's she's tired, but she won't sleep. She's hungry, but she won't feed. And I don't know if she's got herself so tired that she, she just can't do either. I mean, perhaps if you were to hold her for a while and rock her, she'd go off. You know, I think it would be a good idea if you tried feeding her again. Max, why won't you hold her? Are you listening to me? Uh, it's Barry's carpet fitters. I'll have to go. Sod the carpet fitters. I'm really worried about her. No, I promise that... Look, I'll nip back as soon as I can. Max! Excuse me. Sorry, mate. Did you shout? No, no. No problem. Look, uh, it doesn't matter. You just, um... You just carry on. It's all right. Oh! Oh, God! Mate! <laughs> right, Max, everything's under control. Good Lord. What's all this mess on your shoes and your trousers? Go and ask the Flintstones. Oh, look, it's no good. I'm going to have to get changed. I'll, I'll be back in a minute, all right? I know, I've only just got started. I'll have to start clearing this mess. Me? Well, don't ask me. It was your idea to use bin bags. I'm supposed to be on holiday. I'm supposed to be training to beat Smelly Kelly. Well, I don't know about Smelly Kelly. By the time you finish this lot, we more like Smelly Banks. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with her. I'm sorry, I've got to get these sorted Max, out. Max, isn't your family more important? Yes. Look, why don't we take her back to the hospital, let them give her a check -up? Max, we can't. You know what happened last time. No, well, maybe she's not well. Well, she's not ill. She's just fretful. We were warned about this. All right, I'll give the midwife a ring. Tell her to come No, round. Max. Look, we need help. Don't we? I mean, let's get her sorted out properly. <laughs> For God's sake, she's not a broken toy. We can't just take her back and get her mended. We're her parents. We've got to learn to cope with her. Together.
She's the one to go. Come on. Two and four. Twenty-four. Bingo, Audrey. Only a pound a house, five pounds for the winner. Not for me, thanks. You're, uh, you're a bit uh, late today, Audrey. So it seems. Whose idea was it to introduce Bingo? Jeans, actually. Um, she thought, well, you know, a bit of a change. If my members prefer bingo to a sophisticated social club, they should go to a bingo hall. It's so... well, it's common. But very popular. With the masses, yes. But not with my members, surely you agree, Major? Oh. Uh, I suppose so. I don't want bingo in eight. here again. Twenty-eight. It's so disloyal. I take half an hour to discuss the, the club thing. rental with the vicar and there's Dirty gambling knee. going on behind my back. I'd hardly call it. Of yeah. course it's gambling. What on earth would the vicar say if he knew? Seven and five. Turns people into animals. House. Need I say more? Thank goodness you haven't let the side down by joining in. First house to Mrs. Baldwin. <laughs> Resume again afterwards for another game. I must go and supervise the teas. Damn it. Twenty-four. That was my last number. Damn it, I could have won. All right, where are they? What? Someone's robbed me, ladders. Come off it. What do you think I am? Yeah, well, someone's taken them. You tried asking Dickie Williams? I was nowhere near there, Patch. Tamworth Avenue's your old. My area, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's not down to me. I've been here all day. You can ask anyone. So what are you going to do? Get new ladders. What else? And get them nicked again. I'll tell you something. Every scally in the area's probably clocked you by now. Do you really need the hassle? And now you've robbed my round, I'm going to have to sign on. Because I don't make enough to live on minding these shops. So I've got to sign on. Doesn't that make you feel guilty? Robbing a fella's round when he thought you were helping him out? I don't know how you can sleep at night. How you don't feel sick at what you've done to me. Yeah, well, nobody's stopping you cleaning windows elsewhere, are they? But I started that round, and it took me years to build up. But it's not ready, son. I've knocked off. All right, Ed. All right, sir. Uh, where's my ladders? I was going to tell you about that. Tell me what? They've been robbed. Oh, hey. How? One minute they were there, the next minute, gone. God almighty, I've only had them a few months. They cost me a bundle. You can claim on the house insurance. Not when someone's been using them for a wind around. I can't, soft lad. You don't need to tell the insurance that. Just say they were robbed out of the garage. No way, sunshine. You want new ladders, you buy them. And you can buy me a new pair and all. I can't. I've still got to fork out for that flaming greenhouse. I'm skint. Might as well pack it in. Well, that's typically you, Dad, isn't it? Pack it in before you've started. I might say no one wouldn't last. I don't like to have to say this, Mrs. Crosby, but I feel I must. Don't you think it would have been polite to ask before introducing Bingo into my club? I'm sure that was an oversight, Audrey. I'd prefer your wife to answer, Major. I didn't think there was any need. I didn't know the club was yours. I thought it belonged to the members. All I can say is it was very disloyal of them. Perhaps today could be the last we have bingo. Well, no harm done, Jean. Maybe Audrey's right. Bingo is a bit, well, uh, down market. Hm. No matter. I've plenty of other ideas. Oh, yes? I'll let you know when I've decided. But, um... No need to thank me. I do it because I care. Really, Major, can't you stop her? Well, once she gets the bit between her teeth. You know, when you arrived on our doorstep, I really thought this club was going to reach for the stars, find new heights of sophistication, a refined clientele. <laughs> yes, but um, surely there's a need for different types of activities. Does that mean you'll help me with my little slideshow tomorrow afternoon? Slideshow? Oh, yes, yes. Sounds jolly interesting. My tour of the Greek islands with my late husband. Ah. I have some wonderful pictures. Right, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's time for eyes down again. 
I'm sure you'll find it far more interesting than this little carry-on. <laughs> you and I, Major. We're kindred spirits. Jackie? Jack? This is really great, this, love. In fact, everything has been really great, you know. I don't know what I'd have done without you. Oh, very bloody cosy. I'm shut away in prison, and you're screwing my missus. Get out! Get out, you lousy kid! Jimmy, it's not what it looks like. I've just been staying here, that's all. Get out! How long have you been here, eh? How long have you had your feet under my flaming table? Look, I've told you! Oh, I've been you. Get out. Get out, you rotten, lousy scared. Go on! Jimmy, Jimmy! And you, Pinky Pouch, and all the bloody two-timing cow! Jim, Go on, beat it! Don't be so bloody stupid! There's nothing between us! He's just been stopping here! Crap! Do you think I'm stupid or something? You and him have been carrying on, haven't you? Come here. Get out of it! Come here! Get up those stairs! I'll show you what's what! been in the spare room. What are you doing making a bloody show of me? And what's with all the flowers and that then, eh? Well, I dare say Ron wanted to say thanks to me for giving him a roof over his head. He split up with Bev. He had nowhere else to go, for God's sake. Would I refuse him a bed after all he's done for me while you were banged up, eh? After all the heartache you've caused. Yeah, well, I... Yeah, well, just you think before you ever accuse me of going with anyone else. I'll collect my gear tomorrow, Jack. I'll get off now. Welcome me home then. Welcome.
this in. Aye, aye. You're out, eh? Yep. Got out yesterday. So how's it feel, mate? Oh, I would have felt better if Jackie had been in a better mood, know what I mean? Why, what's up? I came back yesterday and found Ron Dicko sitting down to a cosy bit of tea with her, didn't I? You never. After the daft killed him, I found out that he split up with that bear one. Seemed to just wanted a spare bed for a few nights. She wiped the flaming floor with me, didn't she? You haven't split up, have you? No. Hey, listen, uh, is Barry around? I want to see him. I'm hoping he'll give me my old job back, you know. Well, I'm sorry, mate. He's still on his owls. He's gone to Florida with that lady Penny one. Oh, hey, till when? I'm not sure. And uh, don't be asking me for any money, you know. No props, mate. Them little deals inside, do you remember? I've already started collecting what I'm owed. Are you sure about all this? I'm owed, aren't I? They've had the gear. Well, be careful, eh? And you're not on the other crap again, are you? <sighs> Mugs game, mate. But selling it, that's different. Now, well, I think I'll have a look round the old place. Let the cleaners know I'm back in town, eh? I'm not aware to Jackie about that other biz, them deals. Have you got it? Hey, I don't want to know. Yeah, we'll just keep that like that. All right, sir. All right, mate. See you's out, then. Yeah, got home yesterday. He's after his old job again. You what? Do you reckon he'll get it after all that's happened? Well, that's down to Barry, isn't it? <sighs> not sure I want some jailbird junk hanging around here anymore. He'll never guess what happened when he got home from the Nick yesterday. What? Well, he caught Ron Dixon in the house with Jackie, didn't he? No way. Well, when you say you're with them, you mean him and Jackie would have been there? Oh. All right, Ron. All right, Ron. All right, lads. I see Jimmy Corkle's out. Yeah. At least he could have done his 11 service full sentence, considering what he did to our Tony. Yeah, too right. I agree with you, mate. Well, we'll just have to make sure that we keep our doors locked nice and tight at night now, won't we, eh? Nah. Are you still looking for somewhere to live? Yeah, well, I was, but as I'm still paying rent on Bev's flat and she's away, I reckon I'm entitled to Doss there. I'm just on my way around there now. See you later. See you, Ron. See you, Ron. There goes a man who believes in making life complicated. <laughs> a definite case of midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> she gone down? Yeah, thank God. Oh, Mum, there's no need to do that. Oh, yes, there is. You look done in. <sighs> Bad night. <laughs> Still no joy from Mac. Oh, well, he can hardly breastfeed, can he? It's hard enough for me. Anyway, he was shattered himself. He didn't get in from the restaurant till gone one this morning. It isn't even open yet. No, it isn't. It's uh, obvious he's avoiding having to spend time with Alice. I'm sure he'll accept her eventually. I wish I could believe that. He seems to be becoming more distant every day. I think time will solve all your problems. In the meantime, your father and I will do all we can to help. You only have to ask. Thanks, Mum. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, I'll uh, come back and finish this later. You want a coffee? No, we're off to the club shortly. Oh, hi. Come hi. in. I'm not disturbing you, am I? No, not at all. Hello, Hello Marianne. No, I'm just off. Oh, Patricia, can I borrow this? Whatever for? I need it for the club. Well, you're into OAP rat now. <laughs> not this week. <laughs> See you. Bye. You're not working today? No, I'm sort of skiving on my way back from a meeting in Preston. So, where is she then? Oh, sorry. I've only just got her to sleep. I've had a bit of a difficult night. Oh, I was hoping I'd be able to have a little bit of a cuddle. Oh, well. Better luck next time, anyway. She's only dribbled down your nice suit. <laughs> So, how is life with a new baby in the house? Oh, well, we're, we're getting there. I was going to feel you tonight. Oh? Mm. Uh, got these house details for you. Really? Yeah, friends of ours off down south. They wanted to save money on agents' fees, so they'd be looking for a buyer. I knew mm. you and Mick were looking. Well, the price is right. Medium-sized garden, Victorian fireplace and breakfast room. It sounds brilliant. Yeah, well, a bargain by the look of it. Yeah, I'll call in the show maker on my way back to the office. Thanks, Patricia. Well, for heaven's sake, Jean, the slide show starts at half past prompt.
Sorry about that, David. Well, fortunately, I'm fine, which is more than I can say for Patricia's flowers. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll replace them, no problem. Okay. I, I, I was just practising for a competition, see? You enjoying your holiday then, Eddie? <laughs> uh, I was. All set for the big barrel push, Dad. Roll on, steady, Eddie. Watch out, smelly Kelly. <laughs> All right, Ron. All settled in. Do you know what she's done? She's changed the lock. Changed the lock on the flat that I pay for. He's joking. I'm well stitched here. I'm paying mortgage on the close, rent on air flat, and I'm homeless. Camping out in my own flaming storeroom. Do us a margarita for six o'clock, will you, Mick? I think I'll have a nice night in with the bog rolls and the cornflakes. <laughs> <sighs> What's in? What's in, Ron? Bev's changed the locks on the flat. Go away. It's true, poor son. You're better than who thought all his womanising to come to this egg. <laughs> Remind me never to play the field, will you? <laughs> all right. Had any more thoughts about me ladders? Well, I've told you, I don't know anything about your ladders. Just checking. Thought you might have remembered nicking them. We've been through all this. Can't you just accept that it's natural justice or something? You what? Don't you feel guilty about what you've done to me? Robbing me of my livelihood? Just walking in and taking over when I thought you were being a mate. He's got a point, lad. Sin's had this round for years. Built up from nothing, didn't it? I've lost count of how many sets of ladders I lost in the first year. It's hard work, mate. You've got to be sharp. A lot worse will happen. So don't come whinging to me. I'm not interested. Yeah, well, just thought I'd check, like. I think you got through something there, sir. I'm impressed, mate. Yeah, well, I reckon it's about time I got back on me round. Hey, um, do you want to come and see my new ladders? I picked them up yesterday. You didn't. Robbed them? Me? Michael. Even if your life had depended on it? <laughs> see ya. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing on? Skyving. Well, in that case, come and have a coffee with me. How about going to see your house tonight? Tonight. Patricia told me about it. It looks perfect. It's in just the right area, it's just the right price, and it's not even advertised yet. Please, Mick, let's have a look. Look, I've got a footing match at tea time, then I promised Carol I'd go and visit her. Well, Gary could sort out the football. Couldn't Carol wait till tomorrow? But I promised her. Okay. Well, let's go now. Now? What about the shop? Well, I can't see any customers. Look, I'll phone work and then I'll make an appointment to view right away. But look. No, Mick, look, we're in a rush. We're getting married in two months. And this sounds perfect. It's a real bargain. Ready for my little slideshow? Oh, yes. Greek islands. I'm sure it's going to be fascinating. Is your, uh, is your wife not here today? Actually, she's in the cloakroom. Oh. We seem a little short on members today. Two lines, please, facing me. Now, I'll put some music on and we'll get started. May I ask what's going on? Aerobics. Aerobics? Did you know about this? Do you mind? I'm just about to start my slideshow. Share a share a light. I'll turn the music down. Now, nothing too difficult to start with, just... Breathe deeply and follow me. Jean, can't this wait? Why should it? We've only got an hour. But well, she's just about to start the slideshow. Oh, fiddlesticks to her boring slideshow. This is much healthier. Jean, common courtesy for heaven's sake. Oh, half the people here were born to tears and dreading this slideshow. When I suggested aerobics, they jumped at the chance. Bend those knees. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This afternoon I want to take you on a magical tour of the Greek islands in the footsteps of myself and my late husband, George. David, I'm starting. Coming, Audrey. Perhaps you could put the lights down for me, David. Yes, yes, of course. 
Thank you. First slide, please. And we set sail from the bustling old Athenian port of Paris. And raise those arms and reach and stretch. Next. Our destination was the historic island of Paris. Oh, thanks, Dee. I thought you'd given up this round. A slight hiccup. Normal service resumes today. Glad to hear it. As long as you're as reasonable as that other fella. Yes. Sinbad. Yeah, Jimmy's out of prison. Yeah, he is. Your Ron wasn't too pleased to see him. He hasn't approached him or anything, has he? Oh, no, no, no. Mind you, I wouldn't blame him if he did. You know, after your Tony and that. I oh, know he thinks Jimmy's got away with it. But Jimmy's got our Tony on his conscience for as long as he lives. Yeah, he certainly has. There's no need for revenge. I just hope Ron can put those kind of feelings behind him. Yeah, well, he's got enough problems of his own without that, hasn't he? Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, living over the shop and that. Oh, sorry. I should be minding my own business. I'll get on with it. Yeah. and the aerobics until different days next week. And then everybody would have a choice. I'm sorry, I'm the social secretary. I decide the entertainments. To suit yourself, nobody else. Jim, please. No, it has to be said. This is supposed to be a club, but it's a club for one person, Mrs. Audrey Manners. This is absolute rubbish. This is jealousy. <laughs> All I'm trying to do is provide a civilized social occasion for mature, like-minded people. Everything was fine until you stuck your nose in. Oh, no, it wasn't. These people want to say what activities are available for them, and you won't let them. Let's get into position. Turn that music off. Turn it off. Do you hear me? Did he want to see me? I told you not to antagonize her. It needed to be said. Can't you just see us there? A proper full-size bedroom for us and a room each for Gemma and Leo. Yeah, a bit more room than the flat, that's for sure. Not just room, space. Space for us to be together and space for a bit of privacy. Let's put an offer in for it. Well, no. We don't even know if we can get a mortgage. Well, I want it, Mick. Let's put an offer in now. Hang on, there's no need to rush. Look, let's go down to that building society of yours and suss out the score on the mortgage. Then we'll see about making an offer. Shall I go back and tell them that we'll be back later to put in an offer, then? No. How can we just jump in and make an offer for the most expensive thing we'll buy without having a proper look, eh? Well, look what happened when I bought the bungalow. Yeah, but I don't need another look, Mick. I want it. No. Let's see if we can get a mortgage first, then we'll have another look tomorrow. I mean, our house is more than just Victorian fireplaces and breakfast rooms, you know. Tomorrow, then? Yeah, all right. Definitely? You promise? I promise. <laughs> now, next up, your building society. It's so embarrassing. 
accuracy. Couldn't you have warned her in advance you were starting an aerobics group? She needs to know that she can't impose her boring ideas on everyone the whole time. You saw how they responded to my session. They're desperate for something different. I just thought I'd make that point. Yes, yes Victoria, I understand. Perfectly. I'm afraid I have some very distressing news. The vicar has just told me that he will not be renewing the rental agreement on the hall. The over 55s club is banned from these premises. He, he says our activities are rowdy and not compatible with the proper usage of a church hall. I'm afraid the club is finished. Thank you all. Audrey, I'm so sorry. So am I, David. This rowdiness is... It's all your fault. Everything's your fault. I hope you're satisfied. Fifty thousand. It's a hell of a lot round our necks for 25 years. Well, everyone does it. Yeah, that's because the building societies and the banks make it so easy. Sign here, and you're lumbered with the mortgage for the rest of your natural. Look, I know you're uneasy, but... This is a great opportunity. It's a real bargain. Yeah, it's just my last experience. You know the bungalow? Yeah, but things were different then. I mean, you, you were on your own and out of work. Now there's two pay packets coming in. We'll be fine. Yeah, I hope so. wonder how the match is going. That's another thing. With a garden, you'll be able to practice your football with Leo. <laughs> OK, OK, you've sold it. <laughs> we'll go and see the game tomorrow, and we'll make an offer. Mm. Mm. Right, I'm going to be off. Do down the Aussie. Okay. See you later. <sighs> Hi. All right, love. Can I get you something? No, no, thanks. I'm on my way home. Just thought I'd call and see how you are. Oh, you know me. Same as usual. <laughs> Sleeping over the shop, I believe. I was talking to Jackie Corkin. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Did she uh, say anything else? Just that Jimmy was out of prison. Don't talk to me about that piece of filth. I don't want you causing any trouble with him, Ron. No, you're all right, love. I'm past all that. If anybody goes for him, it'll be himself. But I'll tell you something. I'll never speak to that scum again. Just so long as you leave it at that. Yeah. Look, love, there. Uh, if you'll excuse me, you know, I was just going to go upstairs for me tea. I thought you'd be back living in the flat. Yeah, well, you might as well know about that. She changed the locks, didn't she? You are in the walls, aren't you? What exactly went wrong between you two? I mean, it was so fast. Yeah, well, you know, no special reason. <laughs> Look, love, um, I should really get off. Why don't you come round to ours for tea? No, I'm all right. Are you telling me you prefer some greasy pizza to meat and two veg? <coughs> well, to be honest, no. Well, then, forget your pride. At least let me offer you a decent meal in the bath. It's still your house, not half of it. Thanks, love. Oh, I do hope it can be mended. I don't want Patricia thinking I'm some sort of delinquent. Well, I suppose I'd better go in and face the music. You know, I'd have thought you'd be more interested in Audrey Manor's hurt feelings than a busted cassette recorder. Oh, I'm not sorry for Audrey Manor's. Sorry for the members. Yes. Well, they've lost out, that's for sure. I have to start my own club. What? <laughs> you start a club? Why are they not? Well, it's the time thing for a start, plus the lack of premises. Have you any idea of the sort of commitment it takes? Oh, a job shared is a job halved, and it won't be on my own. Don't tell me you're going to beg Audrey Manor's forgiveness and go into partnership with her. No. You'll be my helping part. Major. Hi. All right, Mas. Drink? No, I've got one, thanks. So how was Carol? Everything OK? No. Mech, mech, we cracked it. You won? Well, no, but we got it down to less than seven goals against us. Six one. We were brill. Nice one. Uh, Leo's downstairs with Rachel and Lee. Can we have some cokes to celebrate? Yeah, of course you can. Who you scored that goal? Rach. The thing is, she got booked for clogging one of St. Peter's lot. Not again. I have to talk to her about that. 
Should I tell her to come on? Uh, not now. I'll see to her another time, mate. OK. Gary, um, you know, I've been to see your mum. Mm. Well, uh, there's a few problems, like, um, well, she's not as well as they thought she was, and uh, she's going to have to be in there quite a lot longer. How long? Well, it's hard to say, mate. I do know that the doctors are doing the best they can, and um, just got to wait and see. She's going to be all right, isn't she? Oh, I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will, mate. Look, um, why don't you go down and tell Sarah that I said you can have a giant-sized pizza between you, Zorni? Yeah. OK. Thanks. What's wrong? She's got some sort of an infection. But, um, she's not responding very well to the treatment. Why? I thought it was just routine stuff. Well, I know, but it seems that Carl isn't helping herself. The staff nurse said it's, uh, it's like she's fighting against the treatment. Like, uh, as though she's given up me. Mm. Want some more? Oh, no thanks, love. I'm stuffed. <laughs> you go through and turn the telly on, then I'll bring us some coffee through. Oh, sounds great, that, love. <laughs> you don't need them with them dishes. Look, you never used to help with them. Don't change the habit of a lifetime. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I see stinbald has got his round back. Has he? Yeah. Oh, and there's a card in the mantelpiece from our Jackie. Didn't she tell you? She spent a couple of weeks with Katie's mum. They're having a great time. Gagging about with Chrissy and a new fella. Come on. No, you're all right, love. I'm awake now. Better get off. Ron, you're worn out. You ought to look at yourself. Settle there, and I'll get you a quilt. You might as well stay the night. You sure? Stay there, won't we, a minute? Sorry, John. Incorrect. It's an incorrect answer. You lose a pound from your original winnings of...